Dear people watching and listening, Assalamu alaikum. Kindly like and share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please support my channel by contributing to my Patreon account so that I can continue making the audiobook series. Is the Bible God's Word? Start of Chapter 1 What They Say Christians Confess Dr. W. Graham Scroggy of the Moody Bible Institute, Chicago, one of the most prestigious Christian evangelical mission in the world, answering the question, Is the Bible the Word of God? Also the title of his book, under the heading, It is Human Yet Divine, says on page 17, Yes, the Bible is human, though some out of zeal which is not according to knowledge have denied this. Those books have passed through the minds of men, are written in the language of men, were penned by the hands of men, and bear in their style the characteristic of men. Another erudite Christian scholar, Kenneth Cragg, the Anglican Bishop of Jerusalem, says on page 277 of his book, The Call of the Minaret, Not so the New Testament. There is condensation and editing. There is choice, reproduction and witness. The Gospels have come through the mind of the Church behind the authors. They represent experience and history. If words have any meaning, do we need to add another word of comment to prove our case? No. But the professional propagandists, after letting the cat out of the bag, still have the face to try to make their readers believe that they have proved beyond the shadow of any doubt that the Bible is the refrigerable word of God. Their semantic gymnastics, equivocating and playing with words, is amazing. But these doctors of religion are telling us in the clearest language, humanly possible, that the Bible is the handiwork of man, all the while pretending that they are proving to the contrary. An old Arab saying goes, If such are the priests, God bless the congregation. With this sort of drivel, the hot gospeler and the Bible thumper is inspired to harry the heathen a theological student, a not yet qualified young evangelist from the University of Witwatersrand, became a frequent visitor to the new town mosque in Johannesburg with the noble thoughts of witnessing to the members of its congregation. When I was introduced to him and having learned his purpose, I invited him to lunch at my brother's residence, a stone's throw from the mosque. While discussing the authenticity of the Bible over the dinner table and sensing his stubborn dogmatism, I put out a feeler. Your Professor Giza, the head of the Department of Theology, does not believe that the Bible to be the Word of God. Without the slightest surprise, he answered, I know. Now I personally had no knowledge of the Professor's conviction about the Bible. I had only assumed so from a controversy which raged around him about the divinity of Christ. He had taken issue with the Orthodox believers on this point some years ago. I continued further, saying, Your lecturer does not believe the Bible as being God's word. The young evangelist responded again, I know. But he continued this time with the words, But I believe that it is the word of God. There is no real remedy for such people. Even Jesus bewailed the sickness. Seeing they see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Holy Bible, Matthew, chapter 13, verse 13. Al-Qur'an, the holy book of God, also condemns this malish mentality. Summum bukmun umyun. Deaf, dumb and blind. They will not return to the path. Holy Quran, Surah Baqarah, Chapter 2, Verse 18 These pages are now addressed to those sincerely humble souls 
who are genuinely interested in seeking the light of God and who wish to be guided by it. As for the other, with a sickness in their souls, the facts presented herein can only increase the disease of their hearts. End of chapter 1